اسلام علیکم اسٹوڈینٹس میرا سیف ٹاؤن اینڈ ہیلدی سو یار ایک بول رہے ہیں چیپٹر چیپٹر نمبر ون بیسکس آف انفارمیشن Students, we watch each and every lecture of every subject. So this, this is your new syllabus, okay? So many new terms are there. So you have to know it. So please watch the lectures regularly. Basics of Information Technology. Now we have finished the topic of our computer architecture students. Now we will just move with the and proceed with the new topic. That is the concept of hardware and concept of hardware and software. Now again, I'm telling the students that those students, those have not got the login on the OLE learn.com. Okay, please go and login. Okay, register, login with your registered ID of your, you can say, or you can say, registered. मोबाइल नंबर बिकॉज ई मेल आई डी इज नॉट बीन गिवन बाई यू ऑल्सो रजिस्टर्ड मोबाइल नंबर इज देयर ओके वॉट एवर यू हैव गिवन गिविंग योर एडमिशन टाइम ठीक है यूज दैट रजिस्टर्ड मोबाइल नंबर एंड यू गोन मे दी पासवर्ड सो क्लिक ऑन दी फॉर पासवर्ड लिंक ओके इफ यू क्लिक ऑन दैट बटन ऑन दैट लिंक सो योर पासवर्ड विल बी सेंड टू योर रजिस्टर्ड मोबाइल नंबर ओके सो फ्रॉम देर यू कैन लॉग इन एंड यू कैन प्रैक्टिस फॉर दी क्वेश्चन पेपर of your IT, okay? So computer, hardware and software, we are going to learn, okay, the concept. Now what is the hardware? Hardware. Now hardware is what you need to do in IT. Since your child childhood days, in the school days, okay, primary to primary, secondary, you have studied that the hardware is the component or the part which we can see and touch. Okay, this is a very common definition of hardware, any hardware. Okay, it's not only the computer hardware, but any hardware. Okay, the thing which you can see and touch, that is the hardware. Okay. So computer hardware comprises of the physical components that a computer system requires. Get it, students? What it is? This is your computer hardware. It comprises of the physical components. Okay, computer. The physical component. that a computer system requires to function okay this is the computer hardware we can say so in simple words you can say hardware are the parts which we can see which we can touch and feel them okay very general definition of your computer hardware is what to be hardware are the parts are the parts okay. which we can see 
touch and feel okay. this is your computer hardware now in computer hardware students many components are there like you are having it encompasses most of the things almost everything of the hardware like circuit board okay then you can say it's either in in your computer in your desktop computer or in the laptop okay whatever device you are using students there is the hardware okay which is needed for your system to work to function okay so it and means you can say the computer hardware encompasses everything with a circuit board that operates within a personal computer or laptop okay it includes the motherboard graphics card cpu ventilation fans webcam power supply and so on okay different types of cables okay so so these are the components we can say of your personal computer or the desktop computer or you can say the laptop what are those students we'll just see okay motherboard graphics card through which we can see the different types of pictures images videos okay that is the function of the graphics card then cpu this we have recently studied that is your central processing unit we had studied this in a very good we okay central processing unit everything which is comprised in the central processing unit we have studied that that is your alu memory and then the whole unit this comes under your central processing unit okay so then we have ventilation fans fans are very much necessary okay so because if you are using the system the system gets heated okay even your phone students you are using for long run gets heated okay so even the system gets heated so for that purpose the fans are very much necessary in the system then webcam webcam is for what purpose students okay to see a person okay behind the screen okay webcam is very much necessary that will be your web camera then power supply power supply means your cables getting cable students or you can see power supply box is there okay and so on this is your what your computer hardware the components okay which is there in the hardware of a system either it's your computer personal computer or you can say the laptop okay these things are essential or necessary okay for any system to work to function properly we'll just see if we get any image of the hardware computer hardware we'll just try to find it out computer hardware okay these are the different computer hardware students will you see you this here the power supply is there okay monitor speaker keyboard mouse case dvd rom main board that is the motherboard students okay cpu cpu fan that is the ventilation fan students okay then ram This is this is your graphics card. Okay, that is VGA card, then sound card, hard disk. Okay, so these are the components. Okay, which makes your hardware. Okay, to function in a system. Okay, so that a computer system can work properly. Let me just see. Motherboard. It's the it's the mother. System fan. power supply motherboard processors that is the cpu 
ओके रैम मॉड्यूल्स रैम रोम या स्टडी ऑप्टिकल ड्राइव हार्ड ड्राइव मॉनिटर वीडियो कार्ड ओके प्रिंटर ओके दीज आर दी कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ योर हार्डवेयर ये सुनो सो यू कैन से दैट द दी कंपोनेंट और द थिंग व्हिच यू कैन सी एंड टच एंड फील दैट इज दी हार्डवेयर इन एनी सेंस यू कैन से इज फीलिंग दिस नॉट ओनली in the sense of the computer that the thing which you can see or touch is the hardware but even the you no know, general things like if you have things which you can like pen pen is having a hard object okay you, you can touch you can see okay the pen then your mobile phone it's, it's uh, again a hardware part okay outside part which you can see and touch okay that is your hardware component okay now next we move on to the software the software so what is the software students? yes software software is what students that though you are having all the hardware components in your system okay to make a system to make a computer system the whole computer system or a laptop but if software is not there it's not present that is the pre program okay your machine is just a dumb machine that means it cannot do anything without the software okay it will like this a dumb machine a dumb box we can say a simple box mean with without software with the, the thing means the pre program which is feeded okay in the system okay that is the software to make your system work okay as per the command as per the instructions okay if you are not having any software in your system that means your machine is just a dumb machine you cannot make it work Okay, as per your instruction, as per your command. Okay, so now we'll just see what is a software. Software is what students. It is a set of instructions given to the computer. Okay, which is known as a program. Okay, students, and the program or set of programs are called as softwares. Okay, I'll just write it down. This a set of instructions. given to your computer is known as a program okay and you can see the programs or set of programs are called as programs or a set of programs are called as a software okay so this software helps us to interact with the computer in order to perform a particular task whatever task means if you want to say that you want to write or type a document so what instructions you are giving to the system that you have to open the ms office word so that you can type okay a document because word is basically to type a document if you want to draw any picture you go to with software students which software you are going to open yes i'm explaining okay if you want to do a presentation then we will ask the system okay to open the ms powerpoint presentation okay so in this way the software is used to give a command the instruction to the system to perform a specific task okay so we can say it helps us to interact with the computer in order to perform a particular task okay and software is a generic term used to describe 
computer programs that means it is a generic term generally generally we say that any program of a computer as a software okay so that's why we we say that it is a generic name okay the software is any program so we can say the software helps us helps us to interact with the computer in order to perform a particular task Okay, students. So, software is a generic term, students. Okay, which helps us to interact with the computer in order to perform a particular task. Now, your software is again is of different type. Okay, which we'll see in further in our topic, which is going on. Okay, so software is of two types: the application software and the system software, which we are not going to learn, inshallah, in the next. Chap, not not the next chapter, next topic because it is there. Okay, it has been described separately. The software, application, and the system software. Okay, so we'll just see that what is a software. That it is a set of instructions given to a computer. Okay, which is known as a program. Okay, and programs or set of programs are called as the software. As I have said, you students, that if software is not there in your system. If it is not present, okay. So your system is just like a dumb machine. It won't be able to do any work because there is no program, okay. There is no instructions given, okay. And how we are we are going to give the instructions to the program? And the programs are nothing but they are the software students, okay. The codes, okay. The code which are written for the computers, okay. That is the program, and the programs are nothing but the software, okay. We'll just see if we. Have the computer software names the software user application software operating system hardware in this way the system works okay so the application software is here this is the generic diagram you can say and this is you know very much. Good block diagram. This is the end user. Okay, the client, which we are, we are, which are those who are using the system. Okay, hardware. Now, application software and operating system. Okay, the type of operating. The we can say the type of software. As I have said just now, that students there are two types of software: application software and system software. System software is nothing but the operating system. Okay. So the operating system and application software they are sitting in between the user and the hardware, so that what user can interact with the hardware of the system, okay, with the help of the software, okay, both the software, the operating system, okay, and the application system or the application software, okay. So this and furthermore we are going to learn, inshallah, in the next lecture studio because. We have to study the categories of the software before learning the type of software. Okay, so categories of software are of two types: as the open source software and the closed source software. So, inshallah, we are going to learn this in our next lecture. Okay. Categories: open source software and closed. Source software. This we are going to learn in the next lecture. Okay. Until then, just try to understand what is the hardware and the software. Remember, students, that hardware are the physical components of a computer. Okay. Okay. And those components are your motherboard, ventilation fan, then different types of hard disk. Then you have webcam, power supply. Printer. Okay, these are the 
different types of components of hardware okay this makes your system complete okay but if software is not there in this within the system your system won't work as per your instruction okay because there is no program pd pre program pd in your system so this is the concept of hardware and software inshallah we will study open source software and closed source software these are the categories of the software okay so until then 